Hello, welcome to this short jazz documentary in which we get to meet George, a jazz musician, who will talk to us about how he works to engage young and mainstream audiences. We will also get to meet his keyboardist, Roll, who will talk to us about who his inspiration is and why that is. He will also get to talk to us about young contemporary artists and their impact in the jazz industry. So yeah, we've been using a lot more modern technology when we've been uh, creating our music videos that we've been doing recently. Um, so you, you've, probably, you've probably seen a few of them, like we've been uh, kind of using a lot of technology to make them look better and all sorts of that, because we're kind of trying to bring jazz into the present tense, and uh, especially with like modern media and, and with regards especially to music, um, people seem to flock a lot towards music videos because it's a visual representation of the actual music itself which they wouldn't really get anywhere else and so we've kind of been trying to keep up to date really with the music industry. So again uh, with regards to like, the technology that we've been using uh, it's been kind of aiding us in all sorts I see with uh, the music videos and like live shows that we've been doing. I recently did a show over in Birmingham and we kind of like used the same kind of like LED lights that we've been using uh, for the music video and it adds just kind of like an atmosphere that you don't really get without it so it, it just adds a lot more to the music than just the sound. After speaking with George we then went on to speak with his keyboardist, Ro, who actually invited us into his home and welcomed us so that we may be able to conduct this interview. Um, as a young jazz musician, I found that most of my inspiration actually comes from older generations, so artists from the 60s, artists like Herbie Hancock, Laos Armstrong, Oscar Peterson, those are the artists who have really helped me develop and grow. However, recently, I began to look at more mainstream young jazz musicians, artists like Corey Henry, Jacob Collier, who have really uh, aimed to target a much younger audiences to help the jazz genre begin to grow again. Because as many may know, that people say that jazz is dying out. However, I believe that jazz is entering a new age, an age in which it engages other genres, it, for example, um, Kendrick Lamar's The Pimp a Butterfly album, which came out with Dean, featured multiple jazz artists who really worked to gain much younger audiences, much mainstream audiences, and I believe that in doing so, jazz is entering a new age in which it can engage, in which it can begin to engage a much younger audience again, just as it did in the 20s, 30s and 40s.